because that I, you know, that great quote of yours, this would be a great opportunity. Which quote is that? Well, did I get the memo that Arts and Crafts is dead? Oh. <laughs> so, so I'm here at the Hillsborough Show. So, I was wondering. I'm looking at these chairs here. Now, was this considered like Deco or Art Nouveau? What time period would you? What period would you we say these? We call this Craftsman or Mission period, right? I see. Some people might call it arts and crafts by, arts by any and chance. Arts and crafts works, but I tend to think of little women in sanitariums cutting out paper towels when I hear that. As arts and crafts. Yeah. So uh, I, I, do you think these things will ever sell? Uh, you know, I never thought they would, but uh, this, uh, there's some uh, weird religious popularity campaign, and they sold this morning. They sold this morning? I can't believe it. What, was the show only open for a half hour and it yeah, sold? pretty much. We had two people that wanted them, and they had a little fight right in the aisle. So there was, there was a bidding war yeah, right here? It, it got really nasty. I hated to watch that. Yeah, my God. These are uh, this some crazy Scandinavian named Gustav Stickley, right? And so, um, I'm not going to ask you what you sold them for, but what were they priced at? They were priced at uh, $2,400. At $2,400. Yeah. Well, and is this uh, quarter sawn oak? Is that what it is? Quarter sawn oak and an original finish, and they have a little Gustav Stickley brand on There's the back. There's a Gustav Stickley brand. Yeah, well. this one it's a little hard to see, but it reads better on this other one. I want to take up this one. These came out of a, uh, here you see it, ah. a uh, mobile home park in Escondido, California. So this was from a trailer park. Right, and I had never shown these. They were up on a shelf, and I thought, you know, maybe there's still a few of these people that are drinking the Kool-Aid and think that these old old farm chairs are cool. Like, lo and behold. So is this the, the typical fare of what people are putting in the trailer, trailer, uh, trailers? You know, I don't hang around a lot. Of trailers, but you know, uh, it's not it's not your mother's mobile home. Not your mo mo mother's mobile home. Yeah. Well, that's great. So we call them manufactured houses now, Frank. So I'm speaking to Robert Summers, and yeah. he is the the author of the Blue Heron Blast. Of uh, the Blue Heron Blast. Yeah. www.blueheronblast.com.